Right, so uh, let's get started on um, this short video. Let me first say that it's going to be very quick and I'm not going to go into details. I'm just going to show generally what it is our component can do and we're going to set up a component for an imaginary school and we'll have uh, two related tables, uh, teachers and students. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to name my component, set up some general things like my name and email address, and then I am going to add some tables. The first table I'm adding uh, is going to be um, parents, um, and uh, in there I can decide whether or not I want to show a list and uh, uh, form in the administrator as well as a uh, list and form in the front end. Then I'm starting to add some fields. Uh, the first field I'm going to create is just a name, a normal text field. I'm going to just set it for a crazy width, like 150, so you can see how that works. Um, I'm going to make the field required, and I'm going to slow it, show it in the list. I'm going to add another field in the parents table, and um, I'm going to add the phone number field, and, and um, I am uh, I'm going to give it an integer. I know normally you wouldn't save it as an integer, but uh, just just for this example, it works. Um, and then, so now I have my uh, my parents table. I'm going to create a students table, so we can relate students to parents. Um, so I, I just name my table and I say I want uh, both a list view and a form view in both the admin and the front end. Um, I'm adding uh, also a name for, because the student has a name as well. I'm giving it another text field and, um, and uh, yeah, just uh, allowing the user to type in 150 characters but it could be anything they wanted to. And I'm saying I want it in the front end um, and a list view and a form view as well. And then I'm adding one more field, and this is the, the, the special field. No, sorry, I'm adding the grade field, um, where I, um, I'm, I, I create a list that users can uh, pick from, first grade, second grade, and third grade. Um, and uh, I don't allow people to select more than one. And again, I say I want it on my form, and I want it on my list. Um, here comes a magical field, which is um, the one that's going to tie the uh, students to the parents so that I can you know, run queries and see, show me all students by this parent, for instance. Um, and uh, I'm using a foreign key field, and I kind of say I, uh, I'm linking it to the parents table, and I'm using the ID and the name from the parents table. And then all that's left to do is click build, and I built my component. It's as simple as that. I can then take the zip file, put it straight into a Joomla administration interface, and um, and there you have it. You see here in the components menu, I have the uh, students and parents. Um, I can go ahead and I can add a parent. Um, let's just give it uh, a random name and a phone number. And again, I'll add another one just uh, as an example. So now you can see in my list, I have two parents. I'm going to go over to students, and I'm going to add some students as well. Um, again, I'm just going to give it a random name. And in here, I can set the grade, and I can set the parent. So as you see, when I'm done typing here, that the um, uh, the grade I can set to what I want to, and I'm setting um, uh, a parent as well. I'm going to create a second student, just for an example. And when I'm done doing that, I am, I'm going to go to the menu manager um, and just link to my component so we can see it from the front end. Again, this is a very quick uh, demonstration. Um, we will be um, adding some more uh, detailed uh, tutorial videos soon, so stay tuned. Um, and so I'm creating a, a link to the front end. Um, and then I'm going to go to the front end and just see that. We call a link student list. Um, and now I'm in the front end here, and in the top you can see student list, and here I have my two students, um, and you can you can click in and you can load the details from them. And we also have form editing, I didn't enable that in this tutorial, but uh, that's about it, and I, I hope you uh, want to give it a try. Right, so there you have it. I hope you can see the power of the Joomla Component Creator. Uh, you can create your own uh, one-table components for free, or you can take out a premium membership to build more complex solutions. Um, and so I hope you um, visit us by clicking on the link below, or if you're already on our website, just go sign up.